Okay. So this first song I'm going to do is one that I wrote um, just at the end of last year. It's about drinking. Um, man. Uh, it's called I Still Pay. Let's have a little fun. A night of mixing spirits, awkwardly and divine. You charm me and disarm me, then finished with the wine. I wake up in the morning, a cloud above my head. Last night the world was sweet, but now I can't get out of bed. And I can't drink mm -hmm, like I used to. It gets worse for me each day. Cause even when you're buying, I still pay. so sweet. The memories of my mornings are vivid and complete. I still like to have fun, doesn't every fool I know. But it's getting hard to see the light when this devil keeps me low. Cause I can drink like I used to. It gets worse for me each day. Cause even when you're buying, I still pay. good out there. Uh, hi, 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 hi. Um, thanks for coming along. I uh, am doing all original music tonight for City Lights The Next Stage. This is their new series that they've developed during the quarantine and I'm just happy to be a part of it. I just started learning the ukulele real seriously during the quarantine and it's been really fun learning my songs. I mean, who'd have thunk it? <laughs> um, I uh, yeah, I write the songs on piano, and I'm just kind of, well, I'm going to play piano later, so I shouldn't diss my piano skills right now, but, you know, I'm an okay piano player. <laughs> I usually give things to really good players to play, so I'm excited to be playing the ukulele for you. I'm working on the guitar, too. Okay, this next song uh, is called The Breaker, and I originally did this as a more, like, rockin' tune with the anachronistics, and then as a part of a songwriting challenge for the San Jose Songwriters. I um, I reimagined it as like a more folk oriented song so it could go with my other um, vibe that I'm serving up. <laughs> this is called The Breaker. Looking for an exit, you're searching for a sign. 
coming out and listening I hope uh, if you could share uh, to your friends that would be very helpful get some people watching um, but I'm so grateful for you all that are watching thank you um, my name's Ren and this next tune this is my last tune out on the deck I'll, the birds are beginning to join me in song I don't know if you can hear them um, I hope all the sound is good and everything let me make let me take a look let me take a gander at the situation over here. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Okay. Let's just take a quick look and see and make sure everything's cool up in here. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> All right, cool. Sounds like things are working on your end. So uh, I'm going to do this next tune. It is called If You Can Take Him, You Can Have Him. And uh, everybody, words to live by, okay? Okay. It's based on a catchphrase from my grandma Ruby. And let's do it.
If he wanders, if he's on the prowl, that's a man with a robe now. He'll leave you blue. It's never satisfied. If you can take him, she can have him. They'll have fun. But it won't last. The rain can't be true if you can take him. This is a song that I wrote last week, and it's called Soon, Eventually, Maybe. Um, you'll get the drift. <laughs> the musician and the founder push their dreams down the road. You know, I got choked up. I was seeing the hearts going up. Um, thank you. Thank you for your support. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to try it again, the song on the piano, because, gosh, it would be a shame if I didn't do it. So I'm going to just try. This is a song. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Fred. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. After this, I'll, like, look and see if there's any questions. Or I guess I'm supposed to be doing a Q&A, too, but... This next song is one that I wrote with um, 
Megan Williams. She's a local songwriter here. We wrote the song in about an hour. And something I said before when the sound was off was that uh, If You Can Take Him, You Can Have Him was also um, co-written by Bob Welsh. So this one was co-written with Megan Williams. It's called I Dare You. choose me when it's not easy when you can't find the time and I dare you dare you to hold me when it's late you're feeling tired we share this bed, but there's a distance between us. I want you close, but we're falling apart. We could go on, lost in the silence, or find a way. Thank you. Okay. All right. I think, let me see. I was going to do another technological thing, and I'm afraid to do it now. <laughs> um, you know what? I am going to do it. So I went on a really long walk today. Um, <laughs> I went on a really long walk today, and I uh, felt very safe. I felt really safe and um, I'm grateful for that but I hope someday we'll live in a world where anybody can 
take a walk or a run and feel safe too. Um, on that note, this is a song that Will Borer and I wrote together, um, and it's called Enemy of the People, and yeah, we wrote it with someone in mind, but there's a lot of enemies of the people, and one of them is fear and hate. So this is a song I'm going to bring in. I'm going to bring in Will to play with me. Let's see how it goes, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. No, I don't think it will work after that whole buildup and everything. Um, I don't think it's going to work because I don't have video. It's not, it hadn't been working before. Okay. Oh, darn it. Okay. I don't think I can actually, maybe, maybe I can manage it. Let's see if I can manage it real quick. Um, because what the heck I've already, we've come this far. And if you've hung in with me now, you're pretty special. Um, let me do a little bit of, uh, fun things here. Um, So I'm going to remove, remove that one. You know, sometimes technology is cool and sometimes it is too much. Yes. And, uh, video capture. Yes. Existing. Add existing, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. And we'll make it big and then, oh, oh, we're so good. Okay. All right. This is a song written by Will Bohr and I called, <laughs> Almost forgot an important aspect of this whole magic that I do. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. We'll get it right. Eventually. Maybe. Eventually, maybe. Soon, eventually, maybe. I don't know. All right. Ah! All right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's happening. It's on. It's go. It's go time. Put this over here. Move things around. Okay. All right. I think it's going to work now. Um, okay, yes, 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 that's fine. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Uh, you know what? I don't think I can do it, actually. Um, let, me, let me just go back to normal. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. Sorry, I don't think I can do it. I, I was having some technological difficulties during the little break. And that's what caused me to not remember to turn my sound back on. Um, and now it's just too much. So anyways, I'm sorry. That song is super cool. And someday you're going to hear it. I'll release a video of it after this. I'll send a video out. <laughs> okay. Um, let's try a song that I love. This is a song uh, that I wrote about my grandma Ruby from Oklahoma. It's called Oh Ruby. And thank you so much for everyone who's hanging in there with me. Oof, this has been a little bit harder than other ones that I've done. But um, you just keep on keeping on. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Whoa, chill out. <laughs> Just 23, leaving home. The world is big, she's ready to roam. From Oklahoma to the coast. She send a picture to let them know how she's doing.
these days A husband she's not meant to keep And she won't roam the way she planned With a smile to light the room She'll stand tall despite the gloom Show the world she'll never That's a song um, that I wrote about my grandma Ruby from Oklahoma. All right, my last tune I'm going to do for you all is called The Last Time That He Left. It has a swear word in it, but I'm feeling like it was billed as a family-friendly show. I've already said the swear word once tonight because of the technical difficulties. Maybe I'll change it to stuff. <laughs> How do we feel about that? Stuff? Is stuff okay? All right. Uh, let's see. The. The. Come on, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it any different? Ah! I feel like this is just a rough, it's been a rough day. It's been a tough one. Um, where is my other thing? Mm. Oh, it's outside. Ah, okay. One second. Oh, please. Oh my gosh. Forgive me, friends and people. I may delete this later. I don't know. Okay. One second. <laughs> done this is the last song ah, it's all gonna be okay everybody deep breaths Amy D had her stream live stream yesterday and uh, she did a breathing exercise before her before she started and honestly I feel I should have done that <laughs> I really should have done that I should have done a nice calm breathing exercise <laughs> before we started okay this is my last song and then I, I will I will quickly scroll through for questions um, you know, why didn't you turn the sound on? Okay, this song is called The Last Time That He Left. The first time that he left her, he was feeling pretty bad. Cause he knew what he had lost, and he missed what they had. But every time he leaves, he finds a way to leave again. He's running around in circles. She can't keep him out of it. He wanted to be useful. 
your sh yeah, stuff and leave Cause I don't need you anymore You left me for the last time And you won't leave me again Next time he comes and knock And there'll be no fool, fool to let him in Next time he comes and knock And there'll be no fool There'll be no fool to let him in Oh my gosh. Bless you all for sticking with me. <laughs> Let me lean over here and um, try to take a look at the uh, situation, see if I can answer a few questions, if there are any. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's get this going bigger, bigger, make it bigger so I can see things. All right, I don't, I don't know. Um, is there any? Okay, there's like a million comments because people were telling me that I didn't have sound. <laughs> nice people. Thanks, Fred. Okay, uh, let's see. Anything, anything, anything? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, Lisa from City Lights Theater is asking, have you been able to use some of this time to write more, write even more? Also, please remind us how to support you. So the first bit of that is I have had time to write. I've more focused on learning the ukulele um, and learning guitar. And so I wrote that song soon eventually maybe that I completed that. And there's another one other song that I've pretty much completed, but it's kind of, I had written the lyrics before quarantine and now it doesn't feel like a very, it's kind of a negative song. So it doesn't feel like a real appropriate at the moment. So I'm kind of like, not too sure about that one. Um, another way, if you want to support me, you can uh, you can tip me at the PayPal link. I think they posted it here. Um, you can go to my website and you can buy music. And I'm on all the streaming platforms. And the Ruby EP is only available in its entirety on my Bandcamp, which is rengisick.bandcamp.com. Thanks for the question, Lisa. Uh, let's see if we got anything else. I like that she labeled it as a question. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, see, it's all my friends and people that I love that are commenting. So, you know what? Friends, family, y'all are the best. Um, <laughs> okay, I don't think I see anything else uh, per se. Oh, see, Steely Nash, thank you. Oh my gosh, my friend, um, Jackie Jack, who is um, a wonderful singer and goes with Steely Nash in her singing life, she uh, put a link to Enemy of the People, which is the song that I was gonna do, or I was gonna bring up Will. Um, I really appreciate you doing that, Woohoo! Okay, I'm producing some stuff for Steely. Uh, well, I was, we, we're, we're still in the process, despite quarantine, but um, we're having such a fun time doing that together. Um, I'm gonna scroll to the bottom, because maybe questions are, if there's any, they're coming at the bottom. Um, and then I'm gonna say goodbye, I think. Let's see. <laughs> oh, Steely Nash says, what vocal warm-ups do you do? I do sirens. I do, um, I do like real gentle warm-ups, like humming. Mm -hmm. Like that. And I do like the big sirens and stuff, but I try to keep it real gentle with the, uh, with the warm-ups. And usually by this time of day, I'm pretty warm. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty warm in this freaking barn right now. It is starting to get hot. <laughs> it's getting real hot. So thank you so much for having me. And thank you, City Lights, for having me on the next stage. And, oh, okay. I got another question. How long does it take me to write a song? Um, it depends. I'm sure any songwriter would say that. It depends on the song. I have, um, uh, I've written some songs really fast, like If You Can Take Him, You Can Have Him. I wrote the lyrics to that on the way to hanging out with Bob Welsh, and then when I got there, I said, I need this to be like a fast country song, please. And we wrote it in like 20 minutes, um, and so it was very quick. Sometimes, like, Oh Ruby, I had been thinking about the ideas for that for a long time, and then it, it all kind of came together pretty quickly. Usually, like, there's a lot of thinking, and then the, the whole, like, thing comes together pretty quickly. That Soon Eventually Maybe song, though, was written in, like, one day. 
and I premiered it last Friday at another live stream. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's different every time. And I, I tend to start with melody and then come to the piano, excuse me, um, to the piano and, uh, start like figuring out what the chords are that go with the melody that's in my head. Um, yeah, I just did that for a song that, uh, Celie Nash sent me. She sent me a song called Wildflowers. It was beautiful. Just, she sent me a voice memo of the melody and I was able to like transcribe the chords to go with it. So she wrote this great song and I was able to do that, but that's just cause that's how I do my own songs. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I think maybe, oh no, there's two comments. Let's see real quick. Like I want to be on top of it here. Okay. Someone else said that how to, how, how long does it take to write a song? That's the same thing. Yeah. It, uh, it just, it takes as long as it takes <laughs> until the song is done. Sometimes songs just live in your brain for a long time and like roll around. Bob, wrong Bob Welsh, different Bob Welsh, Fred, <laughs> different Bob, um, Bob Welsh who's from here, but he, Bob Welsh that lives here in Redwood City, he, um, plays for Alvin Bishop and he's in the Big Fun Trio. Ah, uh, Sakura says, why did I want to start learning ukulele? Well, I, um, I started learning because, um, I have been trying to learn guitar for many, many, many years, and I find I'm a big wimp. My fingers are wimpy. And so I thought, well, if I tried to play ukulele, uh, it's a little bit more instant gratification, and I can maybe build up some calluses and try to get to the guitar. So the end game, the end game is the guitar. Um, <laughs> and I'll get there, Sakura. Sakura is a great guitar player and songwriter from the area, too. And she, she like, yeah. She wants me to learn guitar in this quarantine, and it will happen. I'm telling, I'm telling you. Um. <laughs> All right, did I miss anything? Oh, hi, Buzz and Rachel. Hi, everybody. Okay. Okay, Jonathan, what do you say here? You are a super versatile artist. Do you decide in advance what styling your music will be, or does it naturally come in the creative process? Ah, that is a good question. That's a quite great question. So, I didn't do it for you tonight, but. The band, the anachronistics that I'm in, I write some of the songs for that group with William, and I write, I've written some songs just on my own that were for that group, and what, that's like a funk and soul group with a little bit more of a jazz element to it, um, so if I start writing a song that has like weirder chords or, or like just a little bit more of a funky vibe, then it usually goes to that, um, to the anachronistic. And then, but typically because I'm not trying to write super complicated stuff and I, my voice just sounds like country when I sing, I, typically the songs come out as country songs. The, the one time that didn't really happen was a song I wrote called 15 cents. Um, <laughs> that's kind of about the music industry. I was going to try it today on the ukulele and then I, I ran out of time and it's kind of hard anyways, but the song is. When I first wrote it in my head, it was like a doom, da, doom, da, doom, da, doom, like really, really country. I'm not lost, da, doom, da, doom, just walking around, like real country, but in slow. And then I started playing it with Will Bora at all these gigs that we had together. And I was like, you know, it could be faster. It could be a little like try to make it funky because usually Will can make things really cool and funky no matter what song it is. So he started playing it way like faster and more funky. Um, I'm not lost, just walking around. It's like really got a cool groove now, and I love it when that happens. So that's like you know it was had like two lives, um, which is cool. Um, did I miss anything? Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, Lisa, that's so nice. Lisa, who is um, one of the, the creative director, I believe, at City Lights. The director, generally, the CEO, I don't know. Um, she is uh, asking if I'll come back again and do it. I'd love to do it. I would like a redo. I would really like a redo because I think I did okay, but I had some technical difficulties. And um, I really appreciate the people who were stuck in there with me. So... Um, I think, I think, I think, unless, oh gosh, there's like more comments. I got to get down there. Let's see. 
Oh, Jay likes 15 cents. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Woo. Uh, yay. All right, guys. I think I'm going to head out. Call it a night. If I see anything, anything else. <laughs> oh, the songbook. All right, let's see if I can get, show you it. Fred says, show the songbook on the piano, if you can see. It's like... That's not all original stuff. There's a lot of covers, but it's like really pretty thick. Um, anyways, <laughs> that's it. I think I'm going to call it. Uh, thank you all so much and have a wonderful evening. And thank you for sticking with me, my friends, friends, family. Those are the people that I'm seeing. And if you're, if you're, if I don't know you like that, comment and we'll become friends. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> all right. Have a wonderful one. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.